How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Patriot DIY channel. Today we're going to be showing you how we built a lean-to on the back of our shop. All right guys, so as you can see we're in the process of building a lean-to back here on the back of the shop. And so I'm just going to walk you through my whole process. Now first I do want to mention I'm not a professional builder by trade or anything like that. I'm just a DIY guy and I needed some extra storage on the back of my shop. And we're gonna show you step-by-step step how we did that. But first, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and give us a big old thumbs up. We really appreciate that. All right, guys, let's get to building. All right, guys, first thing we need to do is get our two by six up on the wall. This is a 12 foot two by six that we're gonna be spanning across three of the steel studs on our building. You can see that I am using some four by fours propped up against the wall to help me hold this in place since I am doing it by myself. We're gonna measure and mark for the placement and then we're gonna be using a level to make sure we get this nice and level and then we'll fasten it to the walls with some heavy duty wood to metal screws. Now we can get ready to put our posts in the ground. And the first thing we need to do is mark out the locations of each of the posts. And to do this, we're gonna be stretching a string along here to make sure we get those posts in the correct location. Once we have that marked out, we can go ahead and start digging with our post hole digger. And don't worry about getting these holes to the exact same depth. We are gonna be trimming off the tops of these four by fours later, so it doesn't have to be exactly right. Now we can set our posts into the holes. We're gonna be using a level to make sure we get this nice and plumb, and then some scrap wood to use as bracing to hold it in place while we get our concrete in. Once that concrete's had time to set, we're ready to go ahead and put our lower two by six onto these posts. All right guys, we intentionally left these four by fours a little longer than we needed, so now we're gonna cut these bad boys off. Now we can prep our rafters, and for our rafters, we're just gonna be using two by fours. And don't worry, you don't have to do any crazy math to get the angle just right. What I'm gonna do is just hold my two by four up against our board that's fastened to the wall, and then I'm gonna use that to mark the angle. Now we can take all these two by fours into the miter station and get them cut down the length. Now we can mount our rafter ties to the board and get our rafters in place. And 
back down to our lower two by six where the rafters overlap. I cut a scrap piece of wood to use as a spacer to make sure I get this spacing just right. And then again, we're gonna fasten those in place with rafter ties. Now we're ready to get our purlins in place. And for that, we're just gonna be using some 12 foot one by fours. And we're gonna space those out evenly across the rafters and fasten them down. Now for our roofing, we're just going to be using some leftover siding from when our shop was built. But because I want it to match the rest of the shop, I'm going to clean these off and paint them black. All right, guys, we are just about finished up here. Just got done taking the braces off the bottom of these posts here. But if you couldn't tell what we were doing in the time lapse, you can see we pulled our string line here to make sure everything was nice and straight. Cemented our posts in the ground. Then we attached our rafters here with various types of rafter ties. Two by four rafters and then one by four purlins. Only thing left is get that roof on. And we're just going to lift those into place, leaving about a two inch overhang on the sides and a four inch overhang on the front. And we're going to secure those down with some self tapping roofing screws. All right, guys, that is it for how to build a lean-to onto your shop. I think it turned out great. If you guys have any suggestions or things that I should have done different, make sure you let us know in the comments below. Like I said, I'm not a professional, but I think it turned out good and it's going to work out great for us. I'm ultimately going to be turning this into some firewood storage, so make sure you stay tuned for that video and make sure you subscribe to the channel down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.